This post right here in HVAC school group really got me excited. Does anybody have a case study where dust can decrease a blower performance, right? So it got me thinking, let's clean a blower wheel and uh, we'll document, we'll test in, we'll test out. I should be able to pick up a significant amount of airflow, right? So what I did was found me a dirty blower wheel and uh, we tested in. We're getting about 800 CFM total on a three ton. Total TSP is 0.44. Not bad. That's what we tested on the maintenance. We did a maintenance about a week a week ago. I put that on the uh, the grapevine, and uh, got a lot of room for improvement here, right? I'm going to be able to show this guy cleaning the blower wheel is going to pick up a lot of CFM. Test out. Same thing. We got a total external static pressure of 0.43. Supplies the same, still low flow. I was absolutely shocked. I couldn't believe it. I was like, man, I did all this work, documented all this footage for nothing. I was like, you know what? I'm not done. I'm digging deep. Let's go speed tap three. Barely picked up any CFM. I'm thinking we got a problem with this X13 motor. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of baffled here. Um, we got it pretty clean. It's pretty stained from, uh, from everything, but I mean, I really went in there and cleaned every fin. So, I mean, I'll drop it in the video. Now we, when we went to speed tap three, we did, uh, TEC's app did say that the filter, uh, I think we had like a MERV 11 filter. I did let the customer know we need to either go with another drop and um, or we could change it from a high MERV to a low MERV. It was a 20 by 20 on a, on a three ton, which is not, not adequate. So um, we can go with a five inch filter in the garage on this stand here. Um, but, uh, the only other thing I can think of is when this got replaced in 2020, uh, they might've went with an aftermarket X13 with a different program. This is a, this is a Heil ICP brand. Um, uh, but let me know what you guys think. Have you guys found this in the field? I did find this on another unit. We replaced the, uh, the Gentech X13 motor. And the airflow picked up, but the wheel was clean on that job. I'm going to see if I can find another one. We'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, guys, we're back on the maintenance. The customer agreed to clean the blower wheel out. we got some dirt on there. And uh, we did a measure quick report and uh, estimated airflow. We were getting, let's see, uh, around 10, 15. So I'm going to see what the true flow grid says. And uh, we're going to do a test in right now with their filter, clean the fan, and test out, see what we get. All right. All right, test in. We're looking at 827. And uh, I'm going to take this wheel out, see what it looks like. True flow grid is in with the static pressure port up there with the nice new plates. All right, I forgot to take a look at the report. The report says we got uh, 270 CF, 276 CFM per ton, 0.44 static, and uh, we got it set for 350 CFM per ton. All right, below wheel is out. We got it on speed tap two out of three. And I'd say this is a good candidate for some, it's got some growth on there.
Definitely can use a cleaning. Looks like an aftermarket Gentech Evergreen, possibly. Definitely looks newer. Looks like we are. Doesn't have a date on a sticker, but. I'm gonna clean her up. See what the airflow looks like. All right, we got it as clean as we could. It's pretty stained, but doing a lot better. <clears throat> Next time I'll offer to do a brand new blower wheel. Almost easier. We'll see how the airflow picks up. All right, here we go. Testing out. Blower is clean. Cooling mode, air handler, upflow, filter grill, three ton. Whew, it's like 78 in there now. All right, we're going for 350 CFM per ton. Filter grill, all right. Turn. All right, diagram says going to supply. All right, I'm going to go inside, put the true flow grid in the return, come back. All right, we got the true flow in. Oh, looks like we got the same amount of airflow. Seventy, and we've got. Let's see here. Low airflow. Let's go speed tap three. We got it off. We're gonna go to speed tap three and see if we can get uh, get more airflow for another test. All right, we put the fan speed on speed tap number three. And it looks like we're getting not much more. We're getting like 900. I think they put a wrong ECM Evergreen in there. I'm gonna check the size and uh, I go speed tap. Three. Yeah, it went up just a little bit. 300 CFM per ton. I think we need like 1050 the minimum. Let's see what we got. Yeah, right around 900. Looks like we're gonna do a new motor on this bad boy. Looks like a half horse. I don't see what uh, that evergreen's got. Man, this was a tough one. 